Hi there, in this video we will talk about the uh, iteration using the while loop and uh, in this short video I'm going to talk about uh, the while loop, how it works and then the two sta or three statements that we use with while loop which is break statement, continue statement, else statement and then I will show you how we can use you, uh, the while loop in finance. So if you remember from the previous video, we said that we have three different ways of control structures. The first one sequence, which is like uh, making one step. And once we finish, we go to the second, third, and so on. But in the selection uh, instruction, we come into a decision where we can take one of the two ways. Either we go yes or no, true or false, one or two. And based on that, we jump to the next step. In this video, I'm going to talk about iteration, which is a loop that we will keep going through this loop as many times as we can to fulfill the condition. And this is what we call it while loop. While loop, it's a loop that executes a set of statements or instructions as long as the conditions are true. And a good example here, I assume i, it's equals minus five. And we will run the loop as long as i doesn't exceed 10. And here we say i equals minus five. If i less than or equal 10s, keep running the loop until we reach 10. And then here, when I run it, I will get minus five, minus four, and keep going until I reach 10. But assume I didn't put I plus equals one. Here we will have the code run forever. So this is the reason we have to add up I plus equals one to stop running the code at the end, which is 10. So remember here, if we don't increase i by one at the end, the loop will continue to run forever because there is no limit for the loop here. So while loop means we continue using the loop as long as the condition we put for this loop is valid. The second point is the break. Break means we stop the loop at a certain point, even if the condition is valid. And here I use the second example, which is i equals minus five, while i is less than or equal 10, keep running the loop until i equals seven. So here we go minus five, four, until we reach seven. And here we can see that the loop ends, even if we didn't reach the limit, which is 10. But the loop ends here because I put break statement. So break statement means stop the loop, even if the condition is true. Continue statement, it means continue the loop and drop off the condition I put. So here I assign minus five to i, and I say while i is less than or equal 10, Keep running the loop, continue. However, drop off seven. And this is what you can see it in this example. So here we go by minus four and we keep going. But when we come to seven, you see it's not here. So we go from six to eight. And this is what we mean by continue. So continue, we continue the loop, but we drop off the condition that we put it in the middle here. So break, it will stop the loop, continue, keep going, but drop off the condition. The third one, which is the else statement. And here we say we assign minus five to variable i, and we run the loop as long as i doesn't exceed 10. And then we say for the i equals seven, continue. But when we finish the limit, then we write down i is no longer less than 10. And we run the code here, we go from minus four and we keep going up to 10. But then once we finish, we get the print out to say that i is no longer than 10. So please remember here that we have three statements to use. The first one is break, where we stop the condition. 
The second one is continue where we drop off the condition. The third one else, it means after we finish the whole loop, we run the command or the code else. The next one, it's a comprehensive example. I put it here, which we play with guessing numbers. So first we import random area and then we get here random rand range. I know that we will talk about this one in another video, but just random, it means the random module that can give you some random numbers to use in this example. And then we put the code to ask the user to enter a number, any number less than 11. And then we get here the total trial, number of trial, and then we start running our while loop. If the guess number is not equal to the random number that has been generated by the computer, then if the guess number is higher, we write decrease the number. If it's lower, we write increase the number. And then we see how many times the user will get to get the right or guess the right number. So let us run the code here. So here first we guess a number, I assume it's gonna be nine. And then I press enter. Here it asks me to decrease the number because it seems the number I created is higher than the random name. So I'm gonna here decrease it by two, so it's gonna be seven, decrease it again. I'm gonna put five and here it says, I successfully made the right guess after the third trials. So what does it mean here that I can use while, if and else, continue and break, I can use all of them in one code. So here, when we start thinking of using while and if, it's better to make a pseudo code where you write the code on a paper to learn how to make the right structure and then we run the code. The last point in this video is how can I use while to calculate the interest rate? And here I put the example. I assume the rate is 5%. The initial deposit is 10,000. And then we need to calculate the interest rate until we see when the amount will be doubled. So here I say, as long as the balance is less than the target amount, which is the double amount, we keep running the code. Until we reach it, then we can say, how many years will it take to double up the amount of deposit? So here 5% after the first period is gonna be 500, then 525, 551 and so on. So in the first line, you see the interest rate, the second line, the balance plus interest, which I put it here. The first line is the interest, and the second one is the balance plus the interest. And if I go down here, it will tell me that it will take 15 years to double up the amount. So this can show you that we can use while in a typical finance example. So this is in brief the short video of using while loop with continue, break, else, and f. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.